In this demonstration, we're going to look at enabling anti-spam features on Exchange Server 2016. So what I've done here, I've come to my Exchange Management shell. Within my Exchange Management shell, I've come to my Program Files, Microsoft, Exchange Server, version 15, Scripts folder. The next thing we're going to do here is install the anti-spam agents. And to do that, I'm going to do full stop backslash install hyphen anti-spam agents dot ps1. So as you can see now, it's now installing the agents. So we've got our filter agent, ID agent, another filter agent here for sender rather than content, and we've also got recipient filter agent, and we've also got our protocol analysis agent as well. So the agents listed above have been installed. Please restart the Microsoft Exchange Transport service for the change to take effect. So once we get back to the flashing cursor, we'll then restart our transport service. Right, what we'll do now then is we'll just restart the transport service and we'll do that by running the restart hyphen service and then we'll do ms exchange transport next thing to do is to actually specify the ip addresses the internal smtp servers and the reason why we want to specify them is we want those to be ignored by the sender id agent so what we'll do here, just clear off the screen, and we'll just issue the command to actually specify our internal SMTP servers. And we'll do that by doing set hyphen transport config, hyphen internal SMTP servers, at, and then brackets add equals the IP address of lon ex1, and also as well the IP address of lon ex2. Next thing to do here is we'll just list the installed transport agents by using the get hyphen transport agent commandlet. And then we'll hit the enter key and as we can see here what we've got here is we can see all of the agents that we have in place here for the transport agent so the ones we're looking for here for anti-spam we're looking for the content filter agent we're looking for the sender id agent we're looking for the filter agent the recipient filter agent and also as well the protocol analysis agent so as we can see here all enabled all true so the next thing we'll do here is we'll just con figure some content filtering on lon ex1 first thing we need to do here is just verify that content filtering is enabled and we'll do that by using the get hyphen content filter config commandlet so what we're going to do here get hyphen content filtering config we're going to pipe that we'll format the list and we'll specify or we'll look for enabled and enabled does equal true. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to configure a blocked phrase of poker results. And we'll do that by using the add hyphen content filter phrase commandlet. And we'll do that by issuing add hyphen content filter phrase. Hyphen influence is a bad word. The phrase will be poker results. What we can also do as well is we can also add in what we would consider to be allowed phrases and the one we're going to add in here will be report document and we'll do that by using the influence good word so what we've entered here add hyphen content filter phrase hyphen influence but this time good word hyphen phrase report document and that's now been added so the next thing to do here is just have a look and verify that the phrases have been added correctly and we'll do that by using a get hyphen content filter phrase. As we can see here, we can see our good words and we can see our bad words. I suppose the only downside of this is these are lists that you would have to maintain. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.